Updates on Amaranth's situation. Let's take a look at what's going on. She streamed or she tried to stream earlier yesterday while we were live. I didn't take a look at it because I wanted to see what was going on. I mean, I was covering some other uh, stuff, but um, go off is AV. Yeah, I know, but like I'm, I'm always going to use that. You can fucking consider that to be cringe uh, or not, but I don't give a shit. You know what I mean? That's why I, I, I used go off kings and queens in that regard deliberately and specifically there are of course going to be parts of aav that are also stating. within the language that i use as well it's you know that's just how language works well this is hilarious you're constantly using aav yes of course of course i am because that's how language works language evolves this is why it's like incredibly sean you're right this is why it's an incredibly unproductive uh, conversation to have. From a linguistics perspective, it's called living in a globalized society. Like this was bound to happen. Yeah. What? But even you explaining the background still just makes it sound almost pity like. And I'm not saying that's your intent. I'm saying that until we stop questioning these little problems like hair and other BS, we will never be able to move on from this racial backlash. Gabe McCarty. You're right. Yeah. It's the, it's the fact that I described why certain people are upset about the shitty uh, circumstances that they have to deal with and a, a reinforcement of said shitty circumstances. That is the problem. Okay. <sighs> My whole thing is when you change your whole accent, it sounds more black when using AAVE. Yeah, I, I no one no one gives a shit about like no one in the real world is going to be like wow your usage of uh, the term lit was quite problematic okay this is exclusively an internet thing okay an internet phenomena we're moving on from it all right amaranth talked about um amaranth talked about her situation uh as you all know Yesterday, she tried to go live, and then the police came, um, uh, and, and she had to end the stream, and then she went live again last night, and uh, here are some of the things, here are some of the updates and from I don't it. have to wear cleavage every day. I can wear clothes. Master has given Dobby a sock. Dobby is free. Good. That's that's just a meme. I don't know why you guys sent me the meme one, but I mean, basically, as far as I understand, um, I, I think a lot of people are basically like reading further into it, like trying to figure out what is you know what's happening in her personal life. Like I mentioned already, we do not have we do not have uh, uh, any sort of entitlement. We should not have any sort of entitlement to what's going on in her real life, in her personal life. Don't get parasocial and be like, this is what's better you okay she's gonna do what she's gonna do remember that okay as i said in a lot of circumstances like this in a lot of instances like this people do have the tendency to go back to uh their partners okay even after having like a public blow up so don't fucking get mad or angry or feel entitled to additional information just let her live her life okay that's that's the best you can hope for in the situation and a lot of people being like Oh, she should have kept it private. And I'm like, I did. It wasn't getting better. I did keep it private for a long time. But, I mean, of course, Police I'm really expecting the internet not to be unhinged about this when they certainly will be unhinged about this because when have they never been unhinged? When have they not been unhinged? You don't do anything unless you're physically harmed. Unfortunately, yelling at your partner isn't um, grounds for legal action from the police so they don't really help with that they look for 
actual physical damages. I've seen a lot of people being like, like oh, she should have. Um, here, Amaranth has gone live to explain her situation. It seems her and her partner have split or trying to, and he's seeking help. She's seeking both legal and emotional counsel. She has also regained control of all of her social media accounts again. So there's some good news there. Just, you know, pick up the W's and move on. And I think that when he heard himself on that call, it really sunk in how much of an asshole he is. I mean... It's like you never fucking realized, idiot. Um, so as of today, though, I have access to all of my accounts and finances again. Uh, he's not here. He's getting help. And I'm seeking legal and emotional counsel. I have like... I'm like, do I drink? Do I do I stay hydrated? I don't know which one right now. But yeah, I've had a lot of people reach out that offer their help and support, including like legal help, uh, places to stay, etc. So I really appreciate that. Thank you. And I think that when he heard himself on that call, it Um, it's really depressing to me. People seem to hate her for stuff her husband did, and now the same people are taking the side of her husband. I mean, because people just hate women, and and they hate sex workers, uh, which is often tied to the hatred of sex workers, often tied to the hatred of women, and and it stems from you know p wanting to police women's bodies, and that's it. Are you going to discuss how people are getting triggered that Apex is introducing a trans character? Yeah, fuck those people, dude. What do you mean? It's a, it's a great example. It's like, Apex says this character is trans. Okay, how, how did you know other characters weren't? It does not, it, like, which, by the way, extends to real life as well, which is the hilarious part about this. It, and that is that you just don't know. What are you, fucking looking at the cocks? Are you looking at the cocks and, and, and pussies of every character? That's how you knew whether they were fucking trans or not? Or even then, you can still be trans, obviously. You know, you just don't know. You never know. You don't know in the real world either. So just let people fucking live. Going full Ohio? Yeah, motherfuckers are like, oh, penis inspection day. Gotta look at all these penises. Woohoo! Anyway. It's incredibly hard to tell people that others just hate women because the people who hate women have methods of avoiding that deflecting. It's like it's hard coded. Yeah, I mean, misogyny is baked into our existence, obviously. Um, it, it's, uh, not dissimilar to anti-black, uh, racism. You know what I mean? It's just like, it's, it's a, it's a foundational block of, uh, patriarchal society development. This part I heard and it was like real I shitty. To turn down invites to shit camp and stuff now. Or she should have just said she needed soda to run good content. <laughs> like the girls trip. Because it's not good, it's not good use of time. Couldn't be home getting more conversions and money. I can actually feel like I can have friends again. Yeah, I mean, that's crazy. That That is like insane amounts of abuse right i mean the idea that you private i'm like i did it wasn't getting better like it, it, it's it's insane that like that level of control was exerted over her life 
Uh, the rest of the stream is really tough to watch. She's been stating all the things she finally has freedom to do again. Watch TV, not work cleavage, finally sleep eight hours a night, etc. Lastly, she says she doesn't approve of her now former cameraman and content lead speaking out for her on social media, claiming he knew about the situation for a while and did nothing. Because he's just, I feel like he's just out of line right now. After the way he acted at the convention. <sighs> so he's not, he has known me longer than anyone I'm on my staff, so I don't like that he's labeling other people as enablers. Because he's known about the situation for so long. It just feels really, really weird. Really sus. Um, that was actually the first time that he's ever heard himself on a recording because as I told you guys before Previously when I recorded him, he would just like refuse to listen To recordings Sometimes with like take phones, etc. So he would never actually hear them um, And I think that when he heard himself on that call it really Sunk in How much of an asshole He is I don't think him learning how much of an asshole he is, 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 you know, all that revelatory, but Hey, that's just me. I, I, yeah, I don't. It's like you never fucking realized idiot. Anyways. Um, but regardless, you know, it, it seems like they did therapy and counseling before and he were reverted back to his old ways. Um, you know, I hope I hope she's happy. I hope she's comfortable. I hope she gets to do whatever she wants to. And uh, that's it, I think. Like I, I think it's because he got exposed. Yes. So as of today, though, I have access to all of my accounts and finances again. Uh, he's not here. He's getting help. And I'm seeking legal and emotional counsel. Anyway. Because she's probably doing something she wants. She's with her horses now. Yeah, that's good. Uh, and and I'm happy for her. Oh. But um, like I mentioned, even uh, like I mentioned even yesterday and the day before, like when this first came out, like it's not it's unique when victims uh, in in situations like this go back uh, to their uh, abusive partners. For the record, so. No, don't be 